The busiest street in Vermilion will be getting a new facelift over the next two years. The project, headed by the State Department of Transportation, will concern all of Cherry Street from Highway 50 overpass all the way to past High V. Business owner Larry Brady has a positive outlook on the construction. There'll be times when it's inconvenient when they're digging up right in front of somebody's business maybe to put new pipes in. The state has promised us that everybody will have access to their businesses. There will never be a time when they're completely cut off. It'll be a little bit inconvenient because they've got to put all new sewer and water and everything out here along Cherry Street. At the same time, they're redoing the street. They're also redoing all the infrastructure underneath it. They'll do the north side first and then the south side of Cherry Street from Plum Street east. Where they're taking the property from to widen it, they're coming all to the north. And then next year, they'll do the west side of town. The second phase will work west from Plum Street to Dakota Street. This is the part that generally concerns students, but Brady ensured that the road would not be made any wider and none of the trees would be removed. In fact, plans are in effect to help the students that need to cross Cherry Street. They're going to redo the road through the campus, but they're not going to make it any wider. They are going to put some islands down the middle of it, like as a protection area for people to stand on when they're crossing the street. After the road is completed by campus, construction will continue west to Cottage Avenue and eventually out of town past Highway 19, fixing potholes and correcting the curbs and gutters. The state does not want to keep the responsibility of taking care of the road. They'll redo it and build it all brand new and then they turn it over to the city of Vermont. So now on the street here, what the state tries to do when they do a new road, they'll try to get as many accesses closed. And in front of Taco John's on Friday afternoon, there's a, there's a mess over there. So it'll be nice. When it's finished, it'll be a really, really, it'll be a nice, easy to access businesses, and it'll be, it'll be nice. For U News, I'm Megan Eske.